this week on Reality Check. We are serving you another dose of your favorite reality TV shows, starting with Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Love Locked Reality Show, and the most exciting moments from the just concluded Big Brother Niger season six. But first, let's meet our able commentators. Debbie, Sarah, OG Caro. And joining us as a special guest is... Top on the menu is the Safari and Erica story on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. After going weeks without seeing each other and with their impending divorce looming, Safari and Erica finally sit down to air their grievances. Let's find out our commentator's opinion on their situation. At the end of the day, whether me and you are together or not, I'm going to still be 100% for my family. How? When you don't have a family now? This is still my family. What is? You don't care if your kids grow up in a broken home. They, they, it won't be a broken yes, home. Yes, it is. You're living somewhere else. I'm living here. That's a broken home. And therefore, I have to suffer because you get to live where you say 20 minutes away, wake up when you feel like it, do as you please, where I have to be around the clock 24-7, a mother and a father when you're not around to our children. I'm weeks away from giving birth to our son. Look, I'm not going to lie to myself. The inevitable with me and you is us not lasting. It's not gonna we're last not, we're not going to last. no effort. If you love us the way you love you, yes. If you decided I'm going to be a man for mine, yes. But I know that's not the case. And that's why I filed for divorce. I know you would never put us before you. So, so this is the situation, right? They got married, mm. they had their first child together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from what I see, I feel like he's already irritated in the marriage. He will co he used to go online and make comments about oh, you know, marriage is a trap exactly. kind of thing. Okay. So he felt irritated or tired in the marriage and they were still having sex. Mm. Clearly. So <laughs> in the process she had a child and it seems like he didn't want a second child. Mm. Do you understand? So when she told him about the child, he was his reaction. Mm -hmm. Everybody came at him on social and media. And the fact that it was, uh, I think the pregnancy had gone into like five months. Yeah, so it wasn't like, months. oh, let's baby, let's do something about it. There was no discussion as yeah, to how to so, move forward. So then he was angry that you kept this thing from me without me knowing that you are pregnant for me. You understand? So it's just my, my question is in the long run, right? What do you think is the right thing for them to do? To stay in the marriage because of the children? No or separate because there's no love apparently there's no love it's clearly not. there's no love the mm -hmm. marriage is already over mm -hmm. let's not waste any more time mm -hmm. <laughs> you know let's, let's introduce him properly mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so mr. Romantic. mr romantic no i think he was the most romantic in yeah, the house yeah clearly yes. clearly yeah so, i mean he thought of that before, before saga i'm shy i'm shy it's not romantic yeah he was he was we give it up for him yeah so J Paul is in the building. J Paul Chop is not cool. From the shiny eye, Big Brother Nigeria edition. How does it feel? Uh, man, it feels like I just won an election. You know, they come out. More. Some people they hail you. Some people they say if we catch you, you go pursue money and uh, love instead of money. You know that. that, <laughs> <is> that what... <laughs> some people are calling me Flower Boy. You know? <laughs> wow, Flower Boy. But, um, it's, Should I it's use love. that? It's actually love, man. I didn't, I didn't come out the same person. Okay. You know, I came out to a whole different world. It's amazing now. Well, it's good to have you. the original flower boy. Yeah, Thank you. yeah, yeah you finally fake, got to use it. A fake flower boy. I don't know, but this is the original. Yeah, the but one had, that we I seen. heard the prices of flowers have gone up after that thing. After that, <laughs> <is very amazing. laughs> flower companies. This guy is your a flower guy. ambassador. Men, they call me now. As I say, guy, that's what you do. Wait, no do no. <laughs> Your wife asks for flower now. Okay. That's cute. <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The Shade Room is stepping into the wonderful dramatic world of dating reality shows with the original series Love Locked. And for those who live for dating shows that are heavy on the eye candy and full of plot twists, The Love Locked is a must see. Here are a few highlights before we move to our commentators. Welcome to Love Locked. <laughs> Y'all ready to go in? Let's find one. Lucy, I'm home. Where 12 singles have been paired up by two matchmakers, all in the attempt to find true love. I love everybody's energy. Hopefully it stay like this. You just gonna give up that easy? Oh. These females freaky. But here's the catch. The singles have no idea who they are matched with. <laughs> this is what Keep you, it going, my this man. Is I what love you. you. <laughs> 
that's it, that's it, that's it. That's a real man. But do you guys think that they actually do find love in these reality shows? I'm okay. saying, trust me. That question, ask when you have entered. No, 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 not Big Brother. Just like enter love, rea- this reality like show, like a love, like a, a like love. a dating. See, yes. You wake up every day. You see the same set of people every day. Of course, some sort of feeling will start to come. Not love. Mm. So coming out, love is possible. It's love possible. is actually very possible. And did you possible. feel that way in the house? I liked somebody. Yeah, I know. But did you think it was love? I, I said I liked. Yeah, but oh, at some like. point, I, I like so. <laughs> like past or past tense, like. like. So during that past, eh? in <laughs> that past, they're going to interrogate. I'm going to answer questions now. Like, <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> nobody here looks I, like they came to look for love. I, I agree. I agree with nobody you. Came to show. In fact, is there any reality show that has that success story that we successfully matched? people and I they last yes, I know from yes, to handle. Unless accidental. I know from too hot to handle. Oh, they the successfully that, matched. Yes, oh. yeah. Like, I've seen like two, three couples. Oh, That's really? the name of this girl that you're talking of recently. I think last week. At that something. Okay, that was uh, the ultimate... Ultimate... Ultimate, but ultimate, ultimate love. And Bam Bam. Ultimate, ultimate love. love. Yeah. Yesterday and Bam Bam. Yeah, yeah. No, but those ones did not Bam set out to be a real... I mean, a dating show. show it just happened. Yes. It was like a side effect of yeah. being on a show like that. So, but ultimate love, the other nobody, lady... Nobody in ultimate love is no, I think, together. I think they just one couple. Now. I think it's that one. That, Chris. Uh, that Chris and... Double Chris. Uh-huh. Two Chris. Yeah. They are two together. Yeah, they are. I think they are married, Jeff. Love locked. It's hard to find um, black reality shows not turning ratchet at some point. Yeah, so I'm actually. hoping it doesn't turn messy. They start pulling each other's, yeah. each other's weave. You stole my man! Give me back my girl! You know that kind of thing? I hope it doesn't. But um, it'll be interesting to watch to see um, how many couples will actually make it out of this show. Yeah, that's it. So you're saying you like it? I mean, love... She's saying she'll give it a chance. Love drama. And who doesn't like that love yeah, drama love, love situation? Sells, but the thing is for me, I think that... Um, it's pretty chilled. I like it. The idea is, is nice to have an all black cast. Like you said, you know, afraid that it doesn't become because <laughs> you get big, you go see another big, you say, You're moving to my man. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, <I'll go> <laughs> you know, so uh, you know, as black Americans, you know, as they, uh, if you don't see director, give me gun. Po, 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 po. You know that kind of thing. That's racist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 but um it's actually really nice to look at um really fun um let's see how it goes would you do something like that ah <sighs> reality show love love mm-hmm. for love i mean if I you're both flowers i mean i mean you're, you're halfway there and you work with us yeah, exactly mm-hmm. it's your specialty okay <laughs> <laughs> i just i feel like it's a good idea but then the set of people together, they don't be like one love at all. <laughs> they don't want to fall in love. So I just feel like they would have done better selections. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I agree wow. with him on the better selection thing because everything was looking nauseating. No like and the handcuffing them, the hand like, coffee, them cooking. Ones don't like love. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I like love. Trust me, I really like love, but I don't like when it's forced. So maybe that's why I'm not really yeah, a huge fan first, of first of what's it called, love reality shows. I love when I'm watching a reality show where the producers are actually thinking, mm-hmm. thinking deep. So mm. you're watching something and you're enjoying it, not just Hallelujah, leaving them to do their thing. thing. Yeah, wow, just things I get down. It. But the, but they shouldn't <laughs> take it too much from the essence of the show and make it competitive. You're mm. supposed to come and find love oh, well, okay. <laughs> i don't like preacher it. of war i don't know i don't just like this so you're giving shade to the shade woman <laughs> <Wow! laughs> i okay. did not see that <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's j4 before we delve into the finale talks let's mention that mercy the winner of big brother niger season 4 is back with her reality show titled what's next well reality check will be watching to feed you with the juice from the show as it is hot Watch out. Mercy puts her life on display. I'm be telling everyone how to tell me to me, how they need me to leave. How she loves. Well, I don't love him anymore. Look, look guys. And how she unwinds. It's summer and I'll be going to you. Mercy, what next? Premieres Sunday, 10th of October at 6 p.m. WAT. What, what did you say? What, 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 what,
What? Yeah, that's the idea. You need to that's watch up. the show. <laughs> Why that's what now? <laughs> No, but I mean, from the to... lady that gave us, I just want to realize I'm taken care of. I was expecting so... a line like that. And you didn't so, hear you know, the... that something, guys. I didn't hear it, but thanks, guys. You have to give it to her, right? Yeah. What are we you giving to her? You have to give her? it to her. The fact that she's the actual definition of what a reality TV star should be mm. after a reality show. Yeah, drama. How many people have done this? Mm. Do you get? And she's doing another season, so. Ah. She she would definitely get there. I give it to people that attempt to do a reality show about themselves, mm, especially yeah. living in a country like ours, mm. where you know you literally. Yeah, I don't say your papa normal. <laughs> exactly. You're going to do so I'm like, show. wait, what is it that is not on Instagram? Your stories that we haven't seen on blogs and you want to sell to us? What is going to keep me on my seat? Mm, so mm. I'm sure this I don't is think part of anyone in Nigeria. This is part of the things that the producers will have to battle with. I don't think there's anyone in Nigeria that has done Who? what's it called a reality show Who? about themselves Who? and has done it right. Has there ever as there as anyone even? Done. Yes, yes has done. They might try. They might try to do. Yeah. Um. What's the name? I think Tony, Tony Abraham. I think I'm not Tonto sure. Tonto Dike tried. Tonto Dike tried to ah, do. Dike Mercy has tried. Lincoln tried. Easy. I mean, it's not. It's not a matter of it being easy. I know what you're saying, but I'm saying, what do the producers have that they want to work with? So let's not forget. In the first place, the so they're not even doing the anything. Span, right. The attention span of, of viewers. Very short. Mm. Very, very short. Yeah, even for crazy. the Big Brother um, Nigerian stars, after in fact, the next few months, they already move on. So and they are I waiting think. for the next. So here's what I think. Mm-hmm. I think that people who produce reality shows, I'm not talking Big Brother and mm-hmm. all, all those house, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm saying about personal brands mm-hmm. should actually focus on giving us a reality show. Meaning, mm-hmm. give us their life. What is their life? Somebody like Mercy. What is it? Somebody like Mercy now. No, what's it like? We have Mercy. Just what's, open what's, shop. What's, what's, At least let's, let's start You will see it there, there, but you have seen it already, Shane. You know. you, okay, let's start so I don't there. know. Who are you blaming here? But you know you have seen. the producers, okay, of course. Great, because of course they are the, the ones that will sit down and, and come up with the idea. And say, you know what? This if week, you plan to do a reality show, if you plan to do a reality show, don't your Instagram stories and whatever should be limited. Look at this is This is why I said whoever, I mean, who has done successfully done a reality show about themselves in Nigeria that has worked. So it is hard going on a limb to say you want to sell Messi as a reality show star in a, in an age where the Kardashians are struggling to keep their own shop open. Yeah. Because yeah. it's hard. What There's 24 okay. hour exposure. Can it's I, hard. Can I also drop? So I applaud it? them for even trying something. Another point, and what sells Big Brother? What sells all the other reality shows that you watch? A lot of people don't have time to sit down and watch TV. Mm. It's social media. Yeah. So clips. <laughs> short moments all that stuff so they need to put a lot of work on their social media presence get it to trend yeah i've not seen a trend before on social yeah. media yeah. okay so if they yeah, do that point. a lot of people don't watch big brother on tv they see yeah. they see yeah, the highlights yeah, on yeah, phones highlights, yeah. mm. so that's what keeps it going so i feel like that, i feel like this are, i get what you're saying but they don't have enough to work on see i so, just feel i just feel like if someone like mercy sorry mm. to cut you if someone right. like mercy or any other celebrity wants to do a reality show mm. even down to the kardashians mm. back then you would when when they are shooting or when they are filming mm. their instagram stories mm. are always bland mm. their posts bland like they keep you anticipating so, so how, for how long, for how long? Some, do you know this thing you know this thing is not shot on a day to day but it's pre-recorded <coughs> of yeah. course that's my point mm-hmm. so that's when you're recording even you then they would to. react to even then they would react to accusations maybe yeah. exit statements they would react to all those so things in the reality show so you're already seeing some that want to make you so it's later I, I, I well good like, luck like good luck to me the grand finale of the big brother show has come and gone but let's take a look at the happenings in the last week of the show starting from the Friday night jacuzzi party to the Saturday night party that brought about some form of reunion with the evicted housemates. Let's share our commentator's view on the last party after this break. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you already know it's your boy, J4, Mr. Flames, King of Flames, BB Ninja, Season 6, X housemate And uh, this has been Reality Check, ladies and gentlemen, where we check everything about reality. Uh, stay tuned, do not touch that doubt. It's going to be amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, I met amazing people. And yo, it's Flames. You already know. Let's get it. Boom. Jacuzzi party was very boring yeah, for me. Yeah, clearly. What was going on there? Just Emma Rose giving you a few content. Uh-uh. So... Angel's content Hello. is not enough. 
and my rose was giving us content. What do you have to say? <laughs> For trouble. Oh, she's an amorous. <laughs> she hates that sheep. Why? I've not seen anybody that hates love. <laughs> no, I noticed from. The... Do you have an experience you want to share with us concerning the pool party? Yeah, pool parties. Is there uh, one memory I, I, that sticks I, I, to you? I kind of like enjoy the pool party more than the Saturday night. Hey, because everyone for me, says it's so. more like it's freaky. It's like everybody's wild. Freaky, everybody's freaky. moves. You, yeah, you know that kind of freaky. <laughs> so I mean, it was really chilled. I mean, we always look forward to it, especially after all the work through the week. You know, yeah. We always get to chill, okay? Hi, I used to drink. see you inside the jacuzzi with Sasuke. Mm. There was this slow wine mm. that you were giving us, mm. and the facial expression was what was funny for me. Mm. What was the it felt like, like you guys were playing the Naramali song. Who mm. be <laughs> this guy? <laughs> so, so <clears throat> what was happening then? Because one thing I also noticed was that you guys are still free. You yeah. can go and dance with you. Nobody deformed, see. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Because you know, when I came out and I realized there was a lot of narrative about me not allowing Sasuke to be as No, no, no. But for, like, he I do remember. People say that. Wow. So, but you never tell me about the reaction so, <laughs> when you are Sasuke. Funny enough, I don't, I don't remember that reaction. How the reaction? I was even going to ask you. you. Just do you? think of no, Naya Think of Naya Malisa. Did you watch? Did you watch? Did you watch? Did you watch any of your clips? I've since seen when so. you came out I've of the so. pool party? I've did seen. You? I've actually seen. Are you embarrassed? Parties. No, 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 no. I, I just like that's me, man. That's me. <laughs> you know, like it's fun. It's actually. I had. I had maximum fun. Trust me. Like Friday was. Everybody just let loose. But everybody you haven't told us to. what you let loose. You keep saying everybody I mean, I, let I, loose. I, I, let, I let loose. I wanted to have fun. I, I cruised. A funny thing, you see, I did dance with everybody. Look at this guy. Or did you guys see that night that I had like kiss from two hot girls? Yes, now. Okay. You people did not see. No, Tell no, us. No, no. Which girls? Who were the girls? There are a lot of things. Uh, it was a Friday night that happened. Now. It was um, uh, JMK and Angel. I saw the gym. And it yeah, happened like simultaneously, like. Mm. You kissed so, the angel. Yeah, it was at the funeral. Everybody wow. kissed the angel. <laughs> so, like I said. Let me talk about a woman. <laughs> talk about. I mean, everybody it's not, some, it's not something that. Angel will unfollow you on social media. It's not something that's supposed to be a big deal now. She kissed everyone. An amazing and person, come on. Yeah, like, trust me, everybody's spirit. amazing. Yeah. Angel is an amazing person. Spirited mm. lady. But then, I. I I agree with you. I like the jacuzzi party to be nine, to be Saturday night. It was really party. interesting. Because everybody's freaky, just, freaky. I think I just <laughs> enjoyed the Saturday night party about maybe three, four times. So but let's talk about this particular Saturday night yeah, party. Yeah, the, the reunion. The party. reunion party. But I noticed in this party hmm. that Sasuke and J Paul did not dance together and felt like they were avoiding each themselves. other. Did that? Was that? Was that? J Paul, I tell God, beg you, <laughs> don't give me a political answer. What happened? Tell us. Don't Nothing give happened. me political answer. Nothing happened. It just um, <sighs> how will I put it? Just you want to tell us. We just chilled, you know, and no bad one, no hala, no bad vibe. Wait, you came out yeah. before she did. Yeah, I did. You yeah. came out. I think a week later she came out. Yeah. Yeah. So what, when did you guys see each other? Was it uh, here or before? You guys didn't see before. Mm. Wow. Was it deliberate or just. J Paul knows how to do it. <laughs> you no, no, I, no I genuinely want to understand. You so know, where there's that a goes. lot of narrative that has gone down. And it's hurtful that okay. you will come out and you see such things. Okay. See, uh, certain, let's say out of 100%, 80% will celebrate and say, oh, you're a great guy. You mm-hmm. showed so much um, intelligence. You showed mm-hmm. love and all that. Mm-hmm. Another set of people will say, oh, you're being strategic. So you coming out of the house, yeah. did you guys talk about that particular aspect? Did you address so, it um, with her? We haven't spoken. Mm, like, still? Yeah, we still haven't. Is it? Like, that's what I say. Is that, whose fault is that? Who, did you reach out and she didn't reply? Or did she reach out and you didn't reply? I don't think there's even been an opportunity for us to reach. Wow. I actually want to see J-Paul and Sasuke. I really together. do. I really want to see I think you guys are going to give birth to Melanin Popping Babies. Wow. Are we, we're not there yet. See how we are blushing. So you like me <laughs> like this. You show me that if you enter that door, you're lucky. You're the lucky one. Oh my God, I'm in love. Sorry, that <laughs> laugh came out wrong. <laughs> It's funny to rap. <laughs> you. No, no. What I, this is, I was not actually like 
Like, you will, I was not smiling. Nah, 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 you didn't smile. See, that's long. I was just trying to see, imagine it. You didn't imagine this. You didn't mm. imagine this. I was trying to imagine it. I'm, I'm not a fan of any of the ships in the nah, house. So, oh. Nah, so you I've said it on this show. Nah, that's it. Nice. From the beginning to the end, none. So, I wish all of you good luck. My one is, is it ever possible to go into that house and not have any romantic, just friendship? Yeah, I can't, I can't ask you because you gave out flowers it. already. <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> no, there are people that don't know. Was your own intention? So, what was your own so intention? Here's the thing. Um, me giving her flowers was not for her. To, I mean, we were not in a relationship in the yeah. house. We were just very, had a good connection, mm-hmm. right? And me giving her flowers was just a way to say, you're amazing, you are, mm-hmm. you're beautiful. My speech said, I just said, you're, you're a fire girl, you're a girl of fire, mm-hmm. you're amazing. Mm-hmm. I did not say, I love you, will you be my girl? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My mm-hmm. question for you is, have you given any other person flowers aside to ask in this Nigeria Bro. that we are in, no yes. lag, no lag in it. My, my secondary boy. school, like this Valentine, I buy flowers. This guy looks like a bad boy. This guy said Mr. Like Romantic. Yeah, so so it's something like. <laughs> Point is, he didn't do that for highlights. Yeah, yeah. He settles he did it. it for love. He, so he just did he it because it's his person. That's so why the, right? I yeah. That's why I love. <laughs> I'll tell you why. So I lost my dad um, 2014. And my dad is a great guy, my like best friend. But he had never had the opportunity. Like, I would do all the great things in this world. He would never say to me, I'm proud of you, or you're amazing. Mm. But he would say it to other people. Mm. But I always wanted that from him. Yeah. yeah. When he passed, two days before he passed, he said to me, he sent me a text message and said, I'm proud of you. Mm. I saw it and I'm like, why is my dad sending me? I was like, ah, what's in the soul? Why is this guy good? Go I didn't reply. And he wasn't in the same. It was in Calabar, I was in Lagos. Mm. Two days later, it was a, he sent it on Friday. On, so on Monday morning, I got a message that my dad had passed. So wow. that was a conscious awakening for me that whatever I feel for anybody, my kids, anybody in my life, I will mm. tell you because I don't know what the next second will bring. So that's like a love language. I think, I think yes. Yeah. yeah. Whatever that's for me. Yeah. Yeah. The final eviction took place in this order. Emmanuel, Angel. Cross and Perry, well, they left us with Liquor Rose and White Money as the final two. But White Money came out tops as the winner of the Big Brother Niger Season 6. Some people said it was quite predictable, but we'll find out from our commentators if they feel the same way. The winner of Big Brother Niger, Shinya Eye. Interesting. Yeah. Really interesting. But the question I want to ask you guys mm. is um did you ex what were your predictions? Did you expect they caught white money and then cross? It's definitely the corals white money. Perry, not cross. They never have bone cross where to do number three. So the oh, corals, white money and my guy, Perry. Perry. Hmm. Yeah. My, predictions my predictions did not come to pass as I wanted but it was as i thought it would be but i wanted the show to surprise me by having or producing another winner since you know there was a lot of support for that person but it didn't turn out to be so fortunately for white money he you got won. it you he wanted the show to surprise you so i wanted to surprise <laughs> because <laughs> my prediction was pere white money liquor rose mm-hmm. i know that i said liquor rose was going to win because i was expecting liquor rose fans to vote as much as they talked online because the final two weeks of the show like everybody was coming out liquor rose this one liquor rose that one so it was like okay white money from the beginning you guys were inside you were outside from the beginning since they stepped on that stage it was already everyone knew it was going to win so people were saying white money white money white money of course there were liquor rose fans celebrities and everything who knew her but then the final two weeks before the show ended liquor rose fans were literally everywhere online so it was like Every prediction or most predictions rather, her fans were winning. So I was like, okay, just maybe they would win. You get and surprisingly, white money won. So I don't, I don't think it was surprisingly to you. I don't think it was predictable. I honestly don't think it was predictable because on that same day, mm-hmm. people were still posting like for the first time, mm-hmm. we really do not know who is who's going to win. win today. And I think people in general, the way, the, the way the way you know who were talking and not voting. You know the way elections are in this country. People will make mouth online. Who will win? But they are not who actually doing exactly, voting. They're not exactly voting. Mm. It's usually the grassroots people that will mobilize themselves and match to the polls. And what I knew that white money was like the people's choice. What, the girls was like celebrity choice. 
I predicted Nico Rose or Emmanuel, I'm sorry, or um, White Money. White Money. Because it was already looking confusing. Mm-hmm. We agreed that that um, the way it was looking, looks as if Nico Rose fans will come true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then I saw the energy White Money fans were using to vote. In fact, I know somebody that traveled from Lagos to Enugu because of this voting matter. Mm-hmm. Honestly. And I was like, oh more, these guys are not playing. Him. But then I still felt that Likoros had like a very good chance. And we even said that if, if maybe Likoros or White Money wins, it's going to be maybe 1% or 2%. Yeah, yeah, we said that. But yeah. Oh my money guy. Because they were died. talking and they were not voting. They were not. Are you guys going to ask me my prediction? What, what yeah. is your prediction? The best man won. Wow. <laughs> That's a good prediction. But it was the man that won. True. All right, guys. That's it on the show for this week. Don't forget to tune in next week when we bring you more from the world of television. Goodbye.